here we are with a broken down Ford. And let's just hope it starts today. I'm sure it'll be fine. I don't think we've had any issues for a long time actually, but obviously it only gets driven when we're moving the car back and forth for street cleaning, which I believe is like twice a month or something. So outside of that, we never even move the car. And yeah, it's been good so far, I guess. Looks like we are pushing 180,000 miles. Here's a Mustang after a storm. And yeah, I'm sure a lot of the leaves ended up blowing off, but we do have quite a bit of dust and leaves on the car. On a bright note, at least the Lamborghini's protected inside. But yeah, let's head out with this work errand. Probably the first time ever I decided not to record the startup. And it's not because I didn't want you guys to enjoy the exhaust, but the, the issue is that I heard my sister having a meeting and stuff, so I tried to sort of get out of there as quickly as possible without making uh, too much noise since, you know, it, driving the car is evidently going to require at least some level of noise. Also, I wanted to mention that I actually finally received the 71 vinyls that were much anticipated for a while now. Uh, so I did get them. I haven't unpackaged them, but maybe that's what you guys will be seeing in the scene after this little um, post office run. But yeah, so I got the vinyls. I'm pretty excited about it. But the weather is obviously very iffy. Sometimes it's nice, sometimes it's not. Um, so I'm going to have to figure out how I want to address that because I don't want to have to reorder the vinyls in case something goes wrong because of the weather and it not being completely adhesive or something of that nature. So we'll, we'll pretty much have to figure out how soon we put it on. If there's a sunny day and I have a little bit of time, I will put them on since they wouldn't take too long, just need to do some measurements and whatnot. So that should be a really, really cool touch on the car. This Mustang passed by, you guys can't see it in the mirror though. And when he passed by, I noticed that he casually looked at my car <laughs> and he revved his engine, but he didn't do it too loud. And I thought about revving mine, but I was like, I'm going to pass altogether because we are literally right next to the police station and that wouldn't be a good idea. So I was like, I'm just going to pass on it. He intentionally, you could tell that he didn't rev it very much, um, <laughs> maybe like 2000 RPMs or something like really low. But uh, yeah, so that was a very interesting moment, keeping it civil in front of the police department. Little cold start from the inside, which is still pretty loud, but yeah, it is kind of raining off and on. I don't want to get the interior all wet, so I guess that's what the best we could do today. I think this is going to be one of the very few drives we've had on the rain or on their drag tires in the rain. We've had a couple of drives here and there. Um, today it's like storming off and on, so right now, as you guys can tell, it's sunny. But other moments, it's not. You know, it was hailing. It hailed twice in the last, like, maybe 30 minutes or so. And, yeah, so hopefully it doesn't start hailing while I'm out. Had an interesting moment because of the weather and everything. One of the intersections had a stop and go. And because of the stop and go... I pretty much had to go and it was my turn and the road is wet it's very wet in certain areas and since I had to go or I would hold up traffic I you know accelerated and then the tires in the rear obviously not surprisingly started spinning and you could tell like the car started to like low-key fishtail so I just like let off the gas let it gain traction again and then accelerated but interesting moment obviously at this point I'm sort of getting used to the car and like how it is in the rain 
and it's windy as hell. I don't even remember it being this windy when I walked inside, but almost flew away and all. You guys will see it on YouTube Shorts and TikTok, but this person like literally drove in through the non-entrance side of the post office, so that's always <laughs> interesting. Wouldn't be the first time I saw it either. Another day with this beast. I actually really wanted to take the Lambo out, but just don't have the time to do that. So we're basically going to make do with this. I definitely still need to finish the tire markers. Maybe that's one of the tasks I'll do over this weekend. If I have enough time and the weather is nice, that's the main issue. The weather is nice sometimes, it's not nice other times. So that's why I haven't done it. Obviously, I don't think anybody would really notice unless they see the car in a park lot or whatever. Or, you know, maybe if they're paying enough attention while driving and they see both sides of the car, they would notice that one side has tire markers and one side does not. But, you know, sort of is what it is. Obviously, I know that the tire markers are only on one side. holding up traffic low-key I guess I do have the 71 vinyls for the doors that still need to be put on so I'll probably just add that to the task of items we have to do for the weekend but you know once again it's sort of like a rain situation I could I guess I could probably make the time if need be but if it's raining I'll have no choice but to sort of hold off on it um, but yeah, so that's that. No update on the supercharger. I don't think I have any other pending products that need to be put on. I did get those fender hash marks from American Muscle, as you guys remember. I talked to them a couple of times. They said it was shipped. The second time I talked to them, they said it should have been shipped, but it looks like it got lost or something. And they basically placed the order again. And the last time they placed the order, that was... I think several weeks back and then it said shipped again still don't have any tracking nor have I received the fender hash marks so at this point I have no idea what they're doing but it looks like either it said shipped I'm pretty sure it said shipped and it wasn't shipped or it was shipped again and somehow got lost which doesn't really make that much sense but that's sort of where we're at with that. Obviously, we have the carbon ones. Film, as I showed showed you guys previously, film looks a little weird. I don't know if the heat from the car or what sort of made the appearance change, but it looks a little uh, funky, if you will, now. So I'm not really sure what to do about that. Um, so, you know, I, I guess I do need the fender hash marks after all from American Muscle so I could put on the black ones and then remove the carbon ones that I have on, which look a little weird. But yeah, outside of that, nothing really else going on. I did want to take the Lambo out. I sort of wanted to get some air, which is why I'm heading out grabbing lunch with my friend. Um, yeah, because I just wanted some air, sort of got a lot on my plate, as usual, and, you know, sometimes it, it adds up mentally and becomes stressful, so that's sort of where we're at, where it's more on the stressful end of things, so I could sort of use some space and some air um, to sort of clear my mind, at least to some extent, so it's sort of one of those days unfortunately but you know everybody definitely has those days usually i'm not you know I'm, I'm actually one of those people that sort of like yeah that person hell across the red i'm usually not somebody that's like super happy or super mad or super sad or anything i don't really show too much emotion and i'm usually like nonchalant and that's sort of you know my personality as you guys probably could see on the vlogs and whatnot sort of the same same person don't really exaggerate my energy or anything like that for youtube or anything of that nature um but yeah sometimes i definitely have a down day or two so today's uh kind of one of those days it's been very productive it's just that got a lot on my mind regardless um you know so it is what it is I don't think I'll 
itself burned that much gas during this trip but I mean who knows so definitely need to get my gas got the police over here but yeah definitely need to get gas sooner than later it is like probably about a quarter um, and I guess that's 67 miles supposedly but I mean we'll see obviously this car sometimes gets as low as there's another police officer is there a helicopter on my tripping um, this sometimes get, gets gas as low as like 10 miles per gallon on, in the city so it does get pretty bad right now. I'm sitting at like 13.8. So I'm not I'm not sure if it would actually last that 67 miles or not. I mean, we already are down to 66. So probably gonna get gas somewhere in this trip. Obviously, you don't wanna get stranded anywhere. Not that I'm going anywhere that would leave me stranded per se, considering it's Halt City. But yeah, let's see what we get into. We got a little speed racer here. trying to jump over here which doesn't really make that much sense but people acting stupid is always uh, very easy to find I'll say a little update for you guys just a few minutes later and we're already down to 65 miles so so this is definitely going in 1,000 feet down faster than you know we're actually driving because I haven't driven two miles from the last scene where I said we had 67 miles left. Now it's 64 miles, so it's uh, going down extremely fast. I think this entire drive, this entire drive was about three miles. I think it looks like, and I have two and a half miles left. So considering we went three miles down without actually going very far I mean it says plenty at this point I would say As you guys know, I'm trying to have the biggest, baddest collection in Northern California. And I just pulled up behind a Bentley. Don't know if it's from this city or from somewhere else. Or... Is that a dealer place? I can't even tell. I don't think that's a dealer place, right? DST, I don't know what the hell that means. But really nice color. Not something I would personally buy because I, it's sort of like... Looks like a challenge is pulling up behind us. Uh, not something I'd personally buy because I like murdered out cars, as you guys know. But it does look really, really nice, actually. I don't know how well it'll come off on camera. But yeah, in any case, as you guys would imagine, I am headed home. I'm actually not too far away. And had a good time hanging out with my friend. Always good conversations, good food, and so on and so forth. And it was a nice escape from all of the stress uh, but you know there's always going to be a lot of uh, shit to get done and whatnot but uh, fortunately then the e-class is swerving um, but you know fortunately I got some time away from everything sort of uh, my little escape so enjoy that and we'll uh, see what adventures we get into in coming days Not sure why there's a burning smell in here, so that's a little weird. But yeah, here we are with the Lambo, and we are taking it out today for a food run. So we're grabbing dinner. I'm going to drive separately so I can take the Lambo. 
been trying to drive it for a cool minute now but just haven't had the chance and this is a good opportunity to take it out and it's been probably about a month or so since i've driven it apparently little Keta is enjoying the cars and doesn't want to come out from underneath the car i haven't tried but my sister tried to get him out and he's refusing to put the lambo covering here because there's no space in the lambo obviously and now it's time to turn on the lamb in the lambo and yeah i'm just going to back it out the garage for now so i don't need to deal with that when we're leaving because i do need to get the mustang out of the way so it's going to be a process once it's time to leave so i'm like let me just make it a little simpler by pulling out the lamborghini now and save the trouble of that later on it is going to get some dust by being outside for a little bit but i think we should be okay generally speaking because obviously once we get to the restaurant it's going to be sitting outside for a little anyway so you can't really avoid it unfortunately finally got it out and now the wait begins get out here well, maybe like five ten minutes later and i'm just chilling with the cars and i'm thinking maybe we should have done black bolts instead of silver because obviously there's like literally no silver on the car there's no silver trimming the only silver thing is literally the exhaust tips which will get changed maybe i'll put silver or chrome anyways but yeah there's literally no other silver on there so i guess i should have maybe known a little better by doing black instead of silver because it does stand out in a somewhat weird way on in the Mustang so I had to go address that but we got that resolved and now we're officially heading out already I've got a compliment and yeah let's see uh, what do we get into interesting thing is I know where we're going or I know the restaurant's name but I have not been to their connection is successful I've not been to their new location and yeah I got her on maps because I'm supposed to be following my sister but I think she's at least a couple cars ahead obviously they left a little sooner but yeah, I guess she's right here, so I didn't lose her by any means, but might get separated along the drive, I'm sure. So gotta run my maps, make sure I get there without getting lost, so we'll, we'll see.
I thought we were taking the freeway, but apparently we are not taking the freeway. Uh, streets probably are is going to be more fun, less traffic maybe. Uh, so we'll see what we make out of it. Sippin' only, I don't do no rim. Yeah, smoking on that king him. Yeah, we got the money film. I got belly. Uh, we got rice, got plenty. Be like Diddy. Uh, try to make them bump like Diddy. Uh, she want the lean, I got plenty. Uh, make mama proud like Penny. Uh, put your bro in a pendant. Uh, niggas talk Shout out to East Bay Reefer. Literally driving, got a notification at the stoplight saying that he saw me. Driving down this road, so shout out to you. That's pretty funny, actually. And I'll respond to your comment once I do get to the restaurant. But that's pretty dope. Shout out to him, shout out to the Bay, and shout out to NorCal. We're going to take over 71 Race Team and me. Definitely going to make it happen. Whether it takes a day, it takes a week, or it takes months. Man, at this point, we're literally just cruising, enjoying the nice weather, the light coldness somewhat warm weather with the windows down there thing it's uh, pretty nice and this is sort of the breeze and fresh air that I wanted to get yesterday but I wasn't able to given the time but I'm happy I'm getting the air today and sort of enjoying the sunset while I'm doing it as well so it's sort of calming but exhilarating at the same time and like he didn't say anything to me unless he was just shy and didn't want to say anything um, but yeah cool reaction uh, nevertheless Unfortunately, and 
I, I miscalculated how close far away we were. My bumper, my bumper is fine, right? I, accident, I accidentally ended up scraping. What? I said my bumper is fine, right? I accidentally scraped when I was coming in. I miscalculated how. Uh, you know how stupid it is up here. You want this gone? Where? I mean, where are we? Where is it? Here. Oh, do I want? No. Where's the restaurant at? Oh, okay. Um, I'm probably gonna park in the back. My bumper is in one piece, so that's nice. But I need to find parking. I'm trying to park sort of far away. I don't know how far to go. And it is really packed here, unfortunately. Yeah, I might have to park sort of in the boondocks if I want to park far. Unfortunately, I don't think I'll get something that's far but still reasonable, unfortunately. So, we'll see. safe I just missed the exit and then I got I guess I got a little paranoid about where the hell I was going and then I miscalculated where the driveway was unfortunately but we made it to our destination got pretty good parking actually so I guess I'll see you guys in a second park next to this pretty sweet Audi SQ5 my freaking foot is cramping right now let's safely get to the restaurant and we're officially headed out unfortunately visibility is not the greatest we got this minivan coming out I guess so I'll wait for them but
do get to enjoy the night breeze, so that's nice. That's a very interesting sounding Mercedes. I think the issue I'm going to have here is I'd have to do a pretty wide U-turn, I think, to make this. And I don't, I don't know if I'll be able to do it if the car pulls up on my side. But let's see what happens, I guess. Here we are with the cars, and it's time to move stuff around. I guess this is the first trip of the Mustang going into the garage. And we're just pulling it in so my dad could do some pressure washing that he wants to get done and the Mustang sort of in the way but tomorrow we're probably going to bring the Mustang back out and park the Lamborghini in the garage so that's sort of where we're at but it's just easier to bring the Mustang in for now and you know switch around the Lamborghini later on because right now the Benz is also in the way so it'd be like a bigger process for sure. 